Hey, how's it going everyone? So, um, this video, it might be a bit of a rant today. Um, I do want to talk about an issue that I've seen online, um, about some misinformation about, uh, data recovery from SSD drives. Um, this is not going to be about, uh, hardware failures on these drives, but more, more of a logical issue, um, about deleted data formatted hard drive. Um, so, uh, let's get into it. Um, I have a drive here. This is a um, Kingston uh, SSD. So you can see the drive is empty. Let's do a quick scan here. So there's no data here. It's all empty. Everything's deleted. Now we can view it. It's just the file system information at the beginning and the rest of the drive is pretty empty. It's all zeroed out. So there are companies out there that, um, you know, there's, there's a bunch of them. There's the recover, recover it and there's stellar info and a bunch of different companies that make, uh, data recovery software. Now that software is probably fine for recovering data from any other drive, but when it comes to SSDs, uh, they're being very disingenuous because they're not telling you the truth. Um, they're, they're duping customers, uh, using various YouTubers. And then the customers get upset that they're not getting their data. Then they call us and they say, well, can you recover it? No, we can't. And I'll show, show you guys exactly why we can't uh, by doing a small test. So before I get into that, I do want to talk about um, SSD drives in, in, in particular. Um, most modern drive and most modern operating systems have um, a feature enabled on these drives called Trim. What Trim does is basically a garbage collection and the background operation that erases data. That process happens between one to 24 hours. I've seen it happen much quicker. It's usually within an hour. All, all the deleted data that's flagged for deletion is gone in the background. Um, that's because drives themselves, SSDs are fast. They're fast to write, fast to read. But the rewrite operation is very slow. So what the uh, manufacturers are doing, they're taking the controller and they're telling the controller um, in the background, er erase the data, leave it there, but start erasing it in the background. So if the controller is not busy, it's going to start erasing that data very quickly. So that's, that's the biggest reason why you can't recover data from um, these SSDs. I mean, there are other failures. There's the uh, controller failures. There are, there are bad blocks. There are electronic issues. I mean, um, other ways to recover data from these drives is, uh, um, doable, but when it comes to actual deletion, you won't be able to recover anything. And, um, I'm going to do a small test where we can actually test this, um, theory. I've tested it on multiple drives before I started recording this video. So, uh, I know it doesn't work. I even did it on some old drives and then, um, it didn't work. So, um, let's, um, let's try, try this. So, Let's open uh, the drive here. So this is the drive. This is the uh, newly formatted hard drive, 240 gig. It's a uh, Kingston. And we can check if trim is enabled by running this command in um, administrative command prompt. And it's, uh, and it is disabled. So, uh, so sorry, it is enabled. Disabled means it, the trim is enabled. Um, so let's copy some files. So I have some files here. So we can, so I'm, here's a JPEG. It's not a JPEG. It's not a JPEG. And here's a. Three. Okay. So all these, all these things work. And here's a PDF is a report. Um, here's a word document. So I have a variety of files. Um, that we can look at after recovery. So the files are on here, okay? So if we scan it again with um, with our studio, we should see these files and they should open. So they're all open, okay? Everything's fine, all right. So let's close our studio. I mean, I don't have to, but I'll do it anyway. So let's do shift delete and delete these files, yeah. Except for this folder. That's folder, that's folder just to be there. So, so the files are deleted, okay? So now we fire up and now what's going to happen is, um, when I go to this drive, 
See, this is pretty, pretty typical. Yeah, the file system reports there have been deleted files and they have X's on them. And uh, let's see if they open. Oh, look at that. It's all zeros. How about this one? All zeros. How about this one? All zeros. How about this one? All zeros. Um, so let's, let's look at the actual um, hex on this drive. We got the file system information and then look at this. It's all gone. Now, if there was more data on this drive, this operation wouldn't happen this quickly, but it would happen quite quickly if you, if, if you actually test it on drives with more data, it will happen within an hour, maybe faster. Um, so even if we were to scan this drive, let's do a quick scan. We're getting nothing. There's no point going any further because the data was at the very beginning. So uh, we got no raw recovery. Okay. So I'm going to close this, I'm gonna save this. Let's reformat this hard drive. Okay. And we're going to copy the files over again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to disable trim. So now trim is disabled because it says enable. So that means it's disabled. Okay. So trim is disabled. Um, let's copy these files again to this drive. Okay. Files are going to the drive. Okay, they should be on there now. Okay, the files are on here again. Same files again. Everything the same. Okay. So now we're going to go and delete them. Shift delete. Yep, gone. And let's power up our studio again. And we're going to see what happened this time. So the files are deleted. Here's the drive. I'm not going to scan. I'm just going to open it first just to look at the. Uh, file system. So again, we're seeing these files, they're all deleted and let's see if they open. Well, look, it opened. How about this one? Opened. How about this one? Opened. So with trim disabled, this drives somewhat behaves like a standard spinning hard drive. And now, now that I'm on the topic of a spinning hard drive, um, some of you might think, well, I have a spinning drive. I'm backing up my data. I guess I'm safe. No, you're not because now the manufacturers are coming out with um with trim enabled hard drives especially the smr hard drives um toshiba makes them uh western digital makes them sega makes them they all make these smr drives so um to, to give you a, a, an, an idea how smr drives work so a traditional hard drive has just one single translator so this is a, a article from ace labs and i'll link all these this stuff below um to this video so you guys can read it read about it so a traditional hard drive has uh, one translation layer that tells it to where the defects are and skips it. Now, um, that's because the data is written in tracks, um, linear mode. Um, now, when you get into these large SMR hard drives, so I'm just editing the video and I forgot to mention a um, very important uh, detail here um, that on the SMR drives, um, there's a second translation layer and this translation layer is what the shingles is. Uh, the, the shingle drive basically it's uh, instead of being linear and write data from front to back of the drive it starts writing it all over the place so some files might be at the front some might be at the back some might be in the middle um, this is why it complicates things because now you have the first translation layer and then you have the second one um, so when you format you just you just remove the second translation layer the first one stays behind the second one is gone um, that's why um, you can recover the data anyways back to the video so anyways, data is written in shingles, um, and then in um, and then it's written in bands and then blocks like an SSD drive. Um, so if you delete anything from these SMR drives, what's happening is it actually just clears it out to zero. So um, the, um, here's some of the um, SMR drives from Toshiba. I don't know how uh, updated this link is, but uh, here's uh, two, three models and a bunch of Seagate ones. These are all shingle drives. And then Western Digital says a list of all the shingle drives and even the the WD red ones are are uh, these models here. These models here have um, are shingled. So uh, going back to the Ace Lab um, blog here, um, there is a way to recover data from spinning disks with trim enabled. Um, you have to put the drive in a technological mode and there's way to um, but all you're getting is raw recovery and then there's a limit of file sizes to I think it's up to five megabytes I remember exactly but 
um, there is a chance to recover some. So even if you format the hard drives, um, uh, trim enabled uh, spinning drive with um, SMR technology, you still might end up recovering something. Uh, might not be usable. Um, you might not see folder structure, any of that stuff, but you will see um, uh, some data. Uh, I also want to draw attention to um, some YouTube videos that I found. So um, a lot of these these um, YouTubers here are pushing uh, software and, and blatantly lying to, the, to, the, to their viewers, saying how they can recover data, that they recover the data with this recovery software. It's all BS anyways. It's, it's almost laughable. So this guy here, um, so he's clearly trying to sell recover it. Um, I, I mean, I understand you're trying to make money on YouTube, but that's completely understandable. Um, and uh, what he was saying is he had a video running. Uh, sorry, he was a editing video and then it's hard. He, he somehow deleted the data and then he ran this brilliant software that somehow on this SSD with NVMe MacBook, somehow it recovered his data files, his video files. You know, I call complete BS because it's not, uh, there we go, recover it. I call complete BS. Let's jump right in. All right, so here um, I am on my Mac and external drive because video no way in the world this software will work on this particular MacBook he's got there because he, he wouldn't recover anything. As, as I showed you guys in the, in the example at the beginning of the video, with trim enabled hard drives, uh, there's no way. I mean, unless he disabled trim before he deleted the data, then okay, well, maybe, but well, he's not a fortune teller. He, can, he doesn't know when he deleted the data, right? Um, so at least he admits it's sponsored video. Yeah, it's not the best free data recovery, but anyways, and it's not free by the way, you gotta pay if you want to recover anything. Yeah, so, so that's that one. Then there's, um, let me get to this guy, then there's this guy. Will it recover? He again tries to push recover it. Um, he gives you some good information at the beginning, so um, there is some stuff there. I mean, he tells you that you can check your trash, you can check your... Um, backups you know makes sense okay and then until you get to the end and then uh he shows recover it which magically recovers data from an ssd again with trim enabled um so that's definitely not gonna happen not gonna happen yeah this is all bs and then there's this guy this guy here is also lying to you he said uh, this is videos from 2013 and he says now it's working 2020 no it's not it's not working 2020 because most computers now with ssd and NVMe drives they're all going to have trim and trim and trim enabled because the trim uh, is part of the OS now. So there's no way he's recovered anything. By looking at the likes and dislikes, you can clearly see that um, uh, people are definitely uh, being duped and in, in buying this uh, software. So uh, what else? So yeah. Um, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, so anyways, that's gonna wrap up for this video. I uh, I didn't want to make it too long. Uh, halfway through this video, I ran out of um, memory storage on my camera. I forgot to delete some old videos, so there might be a little bit of weird things happening there in the middle. I hope I can edit it correctly, but um, definitely um, uh, you guys should watch out for these companies uh these are not the only companies that are doing this there's stellar info there's um well, who else is there uh, there's a lot of companies out there that uh, that are trying to push their software saying that you know misleading customers into uh purchasing their software because they're claiming that they can recover data from an ssd when they can't um you know it'd be very rare now to find an ssd without trim enabled and someone running windows xp or whatever that doesn't support trim or people running mac os 1068 that doesn't support trim uh, anything past 1068 supports trim and is i think enabled by default if i'm not mistaken but um yeah and there's also uh wonder share and all the other companies i mean they even claim they can recover data from uh, from uh, phones I mean, no, you can't because your phones are also flash storage. You delete something, it's gone. Like, I mean, it's absolutely gone. And I know you guys see me recovering deleted data from phones, but this doesn't work like that. Uh, on the phone, if the file is deleted, it's gone. Uh, the way we recover data from phones is because we go into the database. Uh, not to get into too deep into this, this conversation. This might be a topic for a new video, but all the data on the phone is stored in an SQL database 
per app. So each app has individual storage container and the SQL database. We go in there and we recover from that file. Now the file is gone, then there's no recovery there either. So, so yeah, anyways, um, I want to end the video with my usual BS YouTube stuff, you know, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, if you like the video, subscribe, obviously. I mean, if you don't like it, I don't know why you're here. But uh, I guess maybe you want to watch some uh, something new. But subscribe for more videos. I'm going to have more of these expose videos in the future. Um, but yeah, see you guys in the next video. Well, by the way, if you got this far into the video, then uh, congratulations. This is like a 60 minute video. Anyways, um, I didn't promote anything in this video, any, 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 any software, because uh, I don't have a sponsor. I know Wondershare has been trying to email me for the last year now. Every month I get an email, oh, do you want to promote your software? No, I'm not promoting your garbage software because I don't believe in it. So if you see me promoting anything on this channel, it's something that I use, I believe in. Uh, can, can celebrate, uh, since I'm your client, maybe you should uh, sponsor me here a little bit. Uh, but um, all jokes aside, if I'm ever going to promote anything, it's something I use, like I said, and, uh, you know, didn't want to promote anything in here. I mean, I did talk about Ace Labs and their tool, but this is not something an average consumer is going to purchase. This is more of a data recovery thing for a company like us and whoever else. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching.